application of Avogadro's law in the determination of atomicity of hydrogen and fluorine. It has been observed experimentally that one volume of hydrogen combines with one volume of fluorine to form two volumes of hydrogen chloride. So one volume of hydrogen plus one volume of chlorine gives two volumes of hydrogen chloride, which is an experimental truth. Now by Avogadro's law, you can say that one molecule of hydrogen plus one molecule of chlorine gives two molecules of hydrogen chloride. Further, half molecule of hydrogen plus half molecule of chlorine gives one molecule of hydrogen chloride. As an atom is an individual, therefore half molecule is equal to one atom. So one atom of hydrogen plus one atom of chlorine gives one molecule of hydrogen chloride. Thus, half molecule of hydrogen is one atom, which means one molecule of hydrogen would be two atoms. Hence, atomicity of hydrogen is equal to two. Similarly, atomicity of chlorine is two as well. Examples based on Avogadro's law. Example number 8. Under same conditions of temperature and pressure, you collect 2 liters of carbon dioxide, 3 liters of chlorine, 5 liters of hydrogen, 4 liters of nitrogen, and 1 liter of sulfur dioxide. In which gas sample will there be, number 1, the greatest number of molecules, number 2, the least number of molecules? Justify your answer. Solution Equal volumes of all gases under similar conditions of temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. So, under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, if volume of the gases decrease, the number of molecules will also decrease. Hence, number 1, 5 liters of hydrogen contain the greatest number of molecules. Number 2, 1 liter of sulfur dioxide contains the least number of molecules. Example number 9. If 50 cc of gas A contains Y molecules, how many molecules of gas B will be present in 25 cc of B under same conditions? Solution. 50 cc contains one molecule. Therefore, 25 cc will contain Y upon 2 molecules. According to Avogadro's law, 50 cc of A will contain equal molecules as 50 cc of B. Therefore, 25 cc will contain half of what 50 cc contains. <laughs>